Hello, this is Randy Cook with FS Logix, and in this demonstration, I'll be showing you how you can use FS Logix apps to give you some extra control over uh, software delivery. Uh, in this scenario, we'll be uh, working with Adobe uh, Acrobat 9 and Adobe Acrobat 11, and we'll be rolling back and forth uh, between those different versions and show you how easy that is. In this scenario, we have both products installed on the system and we have Adobe 9 is the one that's currently visible and you can see uh, all of the uh, file associations and everything uh, point to Adobe 9. You can see that uh, that is in fact what launches and uh, Adobe uh, Acrobat uh, 11 is nowhere to be found on the system and is completely inaccessible to, the, to all of the users on the system but it is there ready to be used uh, with the flip of a switch. And so let's uh, say now that we're ready to make that change. Uh, and what we will do is we will take this uh, rule set for uh, Adobe 9 and we will put it into place and we will remove the rule set uh, that's there for uh, Adobe 11. Uh, normally this would happen with your software distribution tools so it would be much uh, quicker uh, change but uh, for this demonstration this is what we're doing so now you can see that Acrobat 11 is here uh, my open width has changed to Acrobat 11 if I double click on this uh, I am now using the new version of uh, the product um, and you know fairly quickly there you can see how uh, you can just immediately flip over to a new version um, when it's time now let's let's take the other scenario where maybe that's not been wanted so uh, for whatever reason what we'll do is we will switch back and you know again it's just as easy as removing the old rule file putting the new one in and Right again, just right away, you're back to uh, version 9. Thank you for watching.